Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at Orama, which is a search engine with a unique style. We are going to install it locally and then I will show you how it works. In very simple words, Orama is an open source, high performance, full text and vector search engine that has entirely been written in TypeScript with zero dependencies. With the help of Orama, you can do full text search, vector search, hybrid search. You can even have uh, chat GPT like chat sessions. You can enable search filters. You can do geo search. There is something called as typo tolerance, fields boosting and a lot of other stuff. And the project is evolving quite rapidly. And I think they have two flavors. One is open source and the other one is a paid offering of Orama Cloud. But I'm just going to focus on the open source for, uh, one. This is not the sponsored video from Orama, by the way. So we will be installing it and then we will see how it works. Before I proceed further, let me introduce you to the actual sponsors of the video who are a agent bot. A agent bot effortlessly lets you deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is really ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So let me take you to my terminal and then we will get it installed. This is my Ubuntu system where I am going to install Orama. You can install Orama in different ways. My preferred way is always with npm. You can even use pnpm and then there are few other ways which you can find out in there github repo and i will drop the link to it in video's description so for npm you need to make sure that you have a recent version of node and npm installed if you don't know how to install it please search my channel i already have done a very simple to understand video around npm and node installation on the channel so let's get started first up let me create a simple directory where, where, where we are going to keep everything so i'm just calling it orama dash example then let's cd into it and then from there i'm just going to initialize my npm that is done it has created the basic template for it and now we can install orama look uh, locally and the command is very simple npm install orama and this is going to take few seconds to get it installed and that already is done okay and now let me show you how can we use it in action so first up let me create a small file called as index.js and then let me open this directory in vs code and i will show you the code as how to use it so you can see that because we have initialized the npm here so it already contains packet uh, package.json and other stuff and this is our index.js let me paste the code here and i will walk you through what exactly is happening here so if you look here first up we are importing orama and uh, all the stuff with it and once that's done we are creating a simple in memory database which can uh, contain some of the usual stuff as per our example like name description price and we also need to specify the vector size that is a embedding size embedding is the numerical representation of the text and then we are inserting the data into the database which is simple our dummy data which i'm using here with the embeddings you can have your own and then this is also creating the index on top of it from there we are searching the database with something called best headphones and this is a simple dp with one row and then we are getting the results back so this is the full structure as how you can do the searching within the orama locally after creating it so let i already have saved it let me go back to the terminal and run this code after clearing the screen and we can simply run it just in the node style so once you run it there you go so you have got your structured json data in return which you can programmatically use anywhere so this is just a very boilerplate example just think about it that if you have a, a database for example if you want to do the rag or retrieval augmented generation where you provide uh, 
context about your own data to the large language models in a rack pipeline let's suppose you have a vector database full of embeddings and then from there you can simply use orama search engine on top of it it also provides you a way to use open ai's model uh, i'm not sure if you can use any local models but i have seen that you can easily use your open ai's model with it where of course you would need an open ai's api key which you can get from platform.openai.com now in another example which is more like a real use case where you want to do a vector and hybrid search you can also do both by just setting the mode to vector when performing the search let me show you the code and vector is just simply uh, an embedding on a numerical representation of your text so you see we are simply importing orama again and then from there we are creating the database and then again we are just populating it with some with some dummy data with three rows where the values are title and then embeddings of or numerical representation of that data and that is just dummy and then we are making a search in the database and this is what i was talking about you need to search to uh, to set the mode as vector and then we are printing out the search results so let me take you to my terminal and then once i run it there you go so it has said that okay it has there are two hits which it has found and this much it took so if you go back here you see it has done two hits on top of it with the search query so this is how easy it is to do a very programmatic very focused and targeted search with this help with the help of this oraba all local all private and now let me show you how you can do drag or chat experience like chat gpt with orama and this is uh, supported from version 3.00 by the way in orama so, so if you are using an older version you would need to upgrade and with the help of this code you can have a similar experience like chat gpt perplexity or even search gpt and here we are using the open ai so you would need to do two things first you would need to install this plugin with npm so just run npm or rama slash plugin secure proxy and you would need to get your open ai's api key from platform.openai.com and then we just need to set this plugin which is a secure proxy to open ai's models you can see that we are using gpt40 mini here and then again we are creating the database populating it with some data and we are just asking it that what it needs to do it's need uh, that you will get a name as context just provide a greeting message like hello or something and the name is john so it needs to greet john with the help of that model and this is so scalable you can just simply put it uh, point this node uh, typescript to your database get your data from there just customize it with your own system prompt and then off you go so let me take you to my ter terminal and run this and i'm just simply just going to call that node script here there you go so hello john doe how are you doing so this is a greeting which is coming from the model and as i always give the uh, give the head up heads up about the op api based models they are api based and you get charged for it so make sure that you are aware of it and because if you are using it quite extensively that cost could go quite up anyway pretty nice and nifty i would say this or Aman. there could be a lot of use cases around it around especially around the agentic software i would say anyway let me know what you think about this orama i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching